What is the deal? All right. The deal is the best damn podcast. Yeah, that John. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, the best yeah. damn podcast. No we, doubt. Yeah, we just get right back into it. No doubt. Let me ask you this. You going to space today. You going to space. You're going to be an astronaut for a living. For 18 months, I need you to go out in space and mm-hmm. see what the weather like. And you can only take five albums with you. I can only give you five. I can't give you 10. I can't give you 15. You can only take five albums with you to space for 18 months. You up there, Dolo. What you going to do? Dolo? You by yourself. Hmm. Let me see, man. I'm taking that. I got to take it was written. I ain't mad at that. I got to take that Nas. I ain't mad at that. I got to take that Black album. I got to take that Hov. Black album. Yeah, I got to have the Black album. The too. Black album. I got to have a Black album. You I got me? you. I got to take that. Uh, um, three more. Let's see. I got to take that Chronic. Dr. Dre. Yeah, I got to take Dre. I ain't mad at that. Got to take that. I got to take. Uh, who else I'm taking? I'm, I'm I'm showing my age right now. Let me see, uh, who else I gotta take? I gotta take that Nori, man, that war report, man. The war report? Yeah, I gotta Capone take Capone and Nori, don't disrespect Capone. Capone, Capone and Nori, I ain't no, yeah, 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 yeah. Capone and Nori, yeah, yeah that war report, yeah, we got, yeah, I ain't mad I at that take, neither. I gotta take that. And then, man, you know, man, I think I gotta go with that Wu Tang forever, man. Yeah, that 97 album, man. I think I got to take that. Okay. I think that's five, right? Yeah, that's a cool list. Yeah, I think I gotta take that. But that's your list, though. So yeah, that's that's just that's just me. That's just what I'm rocking with. I, yeah, that, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So you said the Black Album, Chronic, uh, Woo Forever, War Report. It was written. Yeah, it was written. But I was you know why the five be so hard? It's hard. It's so extremely hard because I didn't take a Biggie album. You know what I'm saying? That's your fault, not mine. No, no, I, no, <laughs> no, no, no. My albums are my albums. I'm right. just saying how hard it is because you're going to leave. But you said albums, though. These these albums are not, and I'm, and this is no shun against uh, uh, Life After Death. It's none of that. I'm just saying that. Yeah, I'm, I say what I say, man. I, I gotta. Yeah, because uh, you can say whatever you want about life after death, but I yeah. think that's the best album ever. But that's for another topic, another okay, day. No, that's but that's that's your this, guy, though. This, yeah, but listen, nah, but, but listen. So album. I'm, a, I'm, that's I'm. A, that's a hell of an album. Listen, me, I'm going on a yacht while you go to space. Okay, but I'm gonna take five albums with me. Okay, and you know, out on the water, you don't really got no service and all that, so motherfucker can't fuck with you. So I'm out there dolo on a yacht no watching doubt. the dolphins. No doubt, not the Miami Dolphins, the real dolphins. Okay, so um. I got to take life at the death with me. I, I need that, John. Yeah. And I got to take ready to die with me because I need all the biggie I can get. Oh, man. I need all the take, biggie I can take, get. You going to take both of biggie. I need, I need all the big. If they ain't mess up born again, I'll take that. But they done fucked that album up. I don't want that, John. So I'm going to take those two. I'm going to take, I got to take my boy Nas, but I'm taking I Am with me. I got to take I Am with I me. Am. And I'm mad that all the Jones that was on Lost Tapes that was supposed to be on there ain't on there, but that's another topic. Right. I'm taking that, though. I'm taking the purple tape. I need only built for Cuban. I'm going to need that out there because, woo, that's my boys. Great album. They my boys. Great album. And I can't leave my boys hanging, so I'm going to take We Are The Streets with me. Okay. I'm going to take them with me. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to take two that's biggies. I'm going to take a Raekwon, a Nas, and an LOX. Okay. Yeah, and then you know, yeah. So can't argue that, man. Yeah, but they, yeah. I mean, but you know, ten is too easy. Ten, you oh, give me this, give me that, give me that. Yeah, ten is easy. Out of five, you got the thing on my back five. Yeah, uh, Weird Streets is definitely one. Uh, Life After Death is definitely one. If I got ten, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I need that. I need. But a lot of people see see what it is. Is I like asking five because not only is it hard. You really going to be, because, because, you know, different albums put you in different fields and you know where you was at different place spots in your life. And you know what? And that's exactly why I chose them albums that right. I chose. Because I can know, I, I know, I know, 
I know um you taking woo forever, it had to be something behind that. Oh man. Because that's not better than inner, inner 36 chambers. But you took that. Yeah. So I know I like I can tell he was at a certain place in his life that he oh, appreciated. No so I know why he took no that. No doubt. And I was really, really, I was really I might have I just think it's a better album you think than so? the first one. Yeah, I just think that because I was I was really, you know, I you know how often I've been, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. in the in the clink and all of that. You yeah. know, that's another that's another episode too. But right, right. But but I was home for both of those albums. You dig what I'm saying? Maybe I should go back and listen to Woo Forever again then, because I, I don't was, really like it. I had it and everything. And I still have it. Yeah, yo, listen. I ain't like it. They they picked up so much like lyrically on that album man i think beat wise too like they just they the rhythm man he 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 was he was on a he was on another level man meth was on another level man mm -hmm. ghost ray they was on another level you know capadonna man they, they they was all just on another level to me you know what i'm saying right right and 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 speaking of uh the chronic which is a great album yeah but to, 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 to understand the chronic, you got to have a mind for it. Yeah. Because there's nothing East Coast about that album. Nothing. Like, you have to, nothing. like, like you got to really love music and have a mind for, it. like, okay, this is what they doing on the West Coast. Yeah. It's how they dress on the West Coast. It's how they talk. It's how they, you got to yeah. have a mind for it. Because if you just straight East Coast, East Coast yeah. and don't know about music, you know, you're going to say that album trash. And yeah. it's far from trash. It's, it, man, listen. I swear far from trash. trash. That's one of the greatest, man. Mm -hmm. I gotta have that. Like, like, like Snoop, Snoop John will be more relatable because it's West, but it's East. It got like an East feel. Like you can understand, like you can understand it. But yeah. the Chronic, the Chronic is a great album. A lot of people yeah. won't understand it though. Yeah, yeah. And it was written. That speaks for itself. Me personally, people say Illmatic. I think it was written is Nas' best album. It is. And and I know how much CR loved Nas. Yeah. And once I could like make like make him go back and listen to it with me, yeah. I convinced him it is. It is. He was like, yo, you yeah, it's right. Yeah. And I think no I think and I was on board with me too as well. No, I think and I always be was no. on board with it was written. You know, you know, I put and I onto a lot of Right. You know, a, a lot of them. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I I think I was banging that so cause you know they was young. They was young, young back in ninety six. You know what I'm saying? Who they was, was like uh, and I and them, you know what I'm saying? But you they was, was talking young, about, young. Yeah, but putting them on a lot of what though? But say like, it. Just putting them on like uh 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 you know, lyricism, what Nas is really talking about. How right. you know what I'm saying? Just making like, them understand you. Making mean. them understand like where he was coming from on, you know, certain they obviously they knew that's the old school rapper, so they know he knows how to rap and he knows how to put it together. He's the you know what I'm saying? But a lot of what he was talking about on that album, you know what I'm saying? I remember speaking to to, to and I about a lot of that about a lot of that album, you know what I'm saying? Nas is a this Nas is a different type of fucking animal, boy. Yeah. I mean, listen, man, and, and people sometimes argue me down when I say this, and and but I don't even know why they argue me down, because it's just my own personal opinion. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think lyrically, I feel I, I just think Nas is the goat lyrically. I don't think the way he the way he paints a picture, man. It's like it's like nothing I nothing I ever heard before. To to me to me to me and and that ain't a bad choice. And you ain't jumping out the window with that. That's a bold statement. Is it? But it's but I can't even say you lying. To me. Big is better, but to me they one A one B. I'm talking about them two is in it. Right. To me, they in the class by themselves. Right, right, like, right. Like they the only right. two that's in that room. No, no doubt, no doubt. But but so if you want to say Nas, I I, I I won't even fight you on yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. I'll fight you because that's my boy, Big. But I can't say yo, you fronting because you can put either one of them. You know. Okay, so. But but you know what though you can and this is why I say you can probably if you want to you could probably kind of give that edge to Nas if you wanted to yeah because it seemed like Nas came out that Biggie seen that and was you know was doing it right because it sounds dope though right when you when you lyricist like when you a lyricist right and you 
word, rhyming word at the word at the word at the word. It sounds beautiful. Yeah, that's oh man. And Nas came out doing it, and I can say that's why when Big Juan lyricist of the year. He said, I don't know how I won that with Nas in the category because Nas was in it too. No doubt. He said, I just went to win album of the year. Right. But Big No, his lyricism was there. Right. He just didn't think it was better than Nas on Ready to Die. Right. And right. It, it, it might have been and then it might not have been. Right. But see why I like, reason why I love Big though, not just because he, he's great, he's still, but anytime you could take somebody's first album and put it next to their second and it's two totally different albums. Yeah. Like, they, they're not even close to each other. Like, I'm talking about they both great. Nothing, he don't sound like he was on the same shit. He sound like exactly how he was. Like, he was broke and then he got money now. Listen, I try to make that point to a lot of guys, but it's almost as if when I begin to talk about it, it's like I'm not articulating it the right way. Right. What I mean is this. Let's take... Biggie's first album and Nas's first album, right? And right. then let's go to their second album, their sophomore albums, right? Yeah, yeah. Look at the difference right. of cadence, of lyricism. Yeah. And the it's so different. Yeah. And it's so much better. That right. It's almost as if, how did he do this? How did he get this good, but just by his second album? Not my, that, just, He's not supposed to be that good until maybe album four but, or but, three or four. See, like, you can't tell me Nas wasn't 30 on Illmatic. You oh can't tell me that. God, yo. But, but, but you know what's crazy? Them niggas grew fast because if you, if you listen to Illmatic, great album, right? Listen to Ready to Die. Great album, right? But, like, I, I'm just thinking, like, the, the, like, the album wasn't pieced together great. Good, okay. but not great. But if you go to the second albums, it's like it was pieced together perfectly. Yeah. Like, this song is supposed to come on after this one, and this one is supposed to come on after that one. Right. Like, it's just pieced perfectly. Engineered. Yeah, yeah like, it's, it's engineered correct. The, the, no, but just, I'm just saying, like, because when you, when you, when you, like, when you, um, when you, when you, I, this is how I do. When I, when I, what I do now, when I go to put out an album, I, I used to record the songs and then I line them up where I think they should go. Make yeah, it make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, Now what I do is once I write all my songs, right, I just take the instrumental and put it, this song on, I mean, I piece it like that. That's what you have to do though to, to yeah. get your album to come, piece, piece together right. right. You have to put the songs where it sounds like it should go. Yeah. Cause you don't wanna, you don't wanna, I mean, had this song, you talking about this, and then it switched to this, like it, it fucks the vibe up. Like you wanna, when you get into a different vibe, you want it to ease through. So basically, I understand exactly what you're saying. I'm kinda listening to, it was written in my head as you're speaking. Yeah. I'm kinda, because I'm going from, uh, what did I wanna, what did I, I, I lost my train of thought real quick. Oh, so, from I gave you power I want to say the next song after I gave you power is uh I want to say a street dream street dreams is before no, it street, okay so no I think if I'm so, not mistaken it's the intro I know it's after or the or, message it's it, no no on the, on this, it is the intro the message street dreams street dreams I gave you power I gave you power but see how they so lead what up I'm saying is right it so makes sense I'm, so what I'm saying is is yeah. that you hear the gunshot after uh 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 no 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 street drink no street dreams go do 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 boom you hear the gunshot that's how I gave you power comes on exactly yeah so that's what I'm trying to explain but it makes it makes sense though like think about it Biggie intro the flat line come on and it spills right in that somebody gotta die right no and then nigga turn around holding his daughter right and then hypnotize boom 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 and then Martin. With the, I mean, uh, the mad rapper, right? With the kick in the door, right? Right. And then, like it just, it just seemed like it's pieced together yeah, perfect. It is, man. Yeah, but like it's like on a first John, it's good, but it's kind of like it was moved. Like certain songs should have been here, or certain songs should have been yeah. here. But you can't tell me them niggas won them. I can't believe them niggas was kids. Yeah, 
Not rapping like no, especially not Nas. Nah, it was crazy. And sneak a Uzi on the island on my army jacket lining. Listen, yo, nigga, nineteen. So check this out, right? And I'm glad you got into into some into you know what I mean their lyricism of it, right? So it was written came out in '96, mm -hmm. right? '95. Uh, only built for Cuban links came out. Mm -hmm. Nas was on verbal intercourse. He murked that John. Right? Yeah. Through all the lights and action, glamour's good as in glow. I unfold the scroll, plant seed to stampede the glow when I'm deceased. My enemies arise like you. Call a peace, sleep, and stab the roam in the streets, live on the run. As I'm listening Police to Police paying right? me to give him my gun. Trick the system with the wisdom that imprisoned my son. Smoke a gold leaf, I hold he. Like. I'm like That's what I'm saying That might what? be That might be one of Nas Best verses though It is his best verse to me It is his best and verse that, to me No and but it's listen not, And it's no, not and It's no, not on his album No but the whole John is The beat was perfect it was for perfect. it It was perfect Nas Yo Really Spaz No but listen You but know what I what's brought that up for a reason Go ahead go ahead bro I brought that up nah, for a reason like, though I like Like you remember how the beat Come on Like it come on And Rizzo Chef Go to Nas Niggas it's the yeah. pop yeah. It's only yeah. like pop And, saying, and Rizzo Chef Go, go to it go that lights. Yo, yo That yo just, it, just waiting for it To come just, on Yo He I mean Dude man Alright so that came out In 95 And then the next year It was written Came out yeah, but he he you could tell he was already he was working on that album. He was working with yeah. we know that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean he, he would have had to have been. You Cause, know what I'm cause saying? that sound like if you listen to listen, when you go back and listen to it, if you listen to I Gave You Power, the skit, yeah. that sounds like Raekwon and Rizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like them. Yo, give yeah. me the E, give me the E. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. that sounds like them. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I don't think Rizza produced a beat on there though, did he? No, not on, it was written. Not on it was written. No, right. he didn't. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, Dre had. Oh yeah, that's yeah, my job. Nas is coming. He spazzed Spot on the that. Feet. Red dot his face like a hen. Yeah, he spazzed on that. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but uh, but I, I say that to say this: when I heard that verse on verbal intercourse, and then I knew it was written was coming out soon. Right. I remember thinking to myself like. I'm like 22 at the time. So I remember thinking, because me, me and Nods are the same age. You know what I'm saying? We both right. born in 74. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. He a Virgo. I'm, I'm, I'm older than Nods because I was born earlier in that year, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking like, okay, we both young boys. We both the same age. Like, mm -hmm. we, like, how did, where, like, where has this kid been? That's what I'm saying. Like, he, what, Nas, how is he talking like Nas, this? Nas, man, I you know don't what know. I'm saying? And we the same. I'm just thinking, like, you know, because I used to hear Nas's wordplay, and I used to think, I used to just think, like, you know what? Damn, I need to. I better. I think I. Nah, you know what I think a, though. I think I need to get into a dictionary. Nah, I know? think no. I no. What I think like, is, I think, he, I think Nas might have been valedictorian in school. <laughs> Yo, he I'm to talk like that, man. Yeah. To 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 bring it all together like that. The storyteller, he that's that's why, man, he's just the greatest lyricist to me, man. Right, right. I, I just don't feel nobody has the like right. they don't make it sound like dude. You know what I'm saying? And then when, you know, he does the rewind joint, it's like Yeah, that that was very creative. The only thing I don't like about it is too short. What? It's way too yeah, short. It, it, it is, is, it's only it like is, a minute. It is it is yeah. it is short. Yeah. But the creativity. No, no, it, being yeah, like, it's very creative. Yeah, very creative. Very. Cause they was, they was, they was trying to they was they was uh saying what's a bigger uh, uh, uh I think a better story, Re Nas Rewind or Eminem Stand song. And I think it was I think it was a uh a, a, a unfair and a bad comparison. Yeah, because Nas didn't go uh it Stan is four verses. Yeah, yeah. And 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 some of the verse I, I when I know Eminem his his last verse is long cuz he's explaining everything. I think it's long, but anyway, still it's a it's a full song. So it's a bad right. comparison. Right. Cuz it's like uh, you comparing a verse to a full song. Right. So it's it's it's, it's bad comparison. Yeah, it's not a good yeah. comparison. That, to, that story would have had to be another least. Like if, if Nas made the story 3 minutes long, then we got a fair comparison. Yeah. 
We got a fair comparison, but yeah. they both great though. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I'll give you if you wanna Nas nah, my boy, so I ain't gonna hate on him. But he ain't over big though, but and you're, and, <laughs> Cause it's your, it's yours, so I can't tell you no. Yeah, yeah. I just, I'm not gonna agree with it, but I ain't gonna fight you because, because I can't say you're wrong. Because it's not. No, I can't. Nah, it ain't because of him, though. I mean, if you want me to fight I you mean, on it, I will. But I mean, it's not. Nah, but nah. Yeah, I love Nas, but he ain't the goat, though. He ain't the goat conversation, but he ain't the goat. I mean, he's like the second goat conversation. Big, big is the goat, and it's not even close. But um. We ain't making this about the goat conversation, nah. But right. that, but our five albums, yeah, that yeah, that's cool. Yeah, best damn podcast, best damn podcast. Yeah, yo, I see you when you get back from uh from space. Yeah, <laughs> astronaut suit, I'll be on the water. Love y'all. <laughs> I love you.